Hello everybody, welcome back to the Dark Pictures Man of Dawn. Now, we just went and <clears throat> stopped the boat. Oh jeez, someone's puking. <laughs> and I believe we're at the wreck of the ship that we saw in the prologue. Let's see what happens. Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Oh boy. Offshore North French Polynesia. Okay. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things oh. are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. No, optimistic. Let's be optimistic. If he says a wreck's here, it's here. Okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? You have an underwater camera too? These Use guys came prepared. Ooh. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, Good. He's a whiz. We should thank him. Fliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, it looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities. As an yes. imported wreck? Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? No, we're doing this the right way. <sighs> Disappointed? Wait. Are you saying we shouldn't dive? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine. As long as you're quick. Don't touch anything. I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? Yeah, it has a bad idea. We're in all over it. <clears throat> we should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera, see if you can find anything useful. Right out. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. Right, he was puking. Where'd he go? Hey, hey. Hi, sweetie. Let's walk, let's walk around the ship if you can. Oh, that's her ID, right? This doesn't look kosher. Okay. We shouldn't mess with that. Put it down. There we go. Where did my broke? I mean, to go in there. Let me find. What's the L one? Right, L one's to walk faster. This guy is not moving in the direction I want him to. Okay, what we got here? Huh. What am I looking at here? Oh, premonition. Okay, these are the new death totems. Oh my god, this is such a, it's such a huge cabin down here. What's up? How you doing? Oh, this is where he is. Sorry, that brewski got the better of me. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, be sympathetic. Hey, all part of the adventure. Sorry for putting a damper on things. No worries, dude. Take more oh, than cool. that, just to script the trip. Just get some rest. Come back when you're feeling better. Okay. We have to look around and might save our lives later. Open sesame. I'm not sure Julia left anything on the mainland. Fume? This only smelled as good as it cost. At least it made her happy. <clears throat> we got a book, Shroud of Innocence. T.S. Hartley. Hey, don't touch your stuff, man. What 
Was something over here? Yes, what's this? Hey, never mind, it's locked. Yeah, just so you guys know, I'm probably going to get everybody killed at this rate, because you know I suck at these decision-making games. I really do. Even though I don't mean to. It's just the way the dice rolls. So, what do we do now? Almost got the gear good to go. Yeah, you need a hand? Need an extra hand? Never used a rebreather before. I think we're in good shape. It's probably not a bad idea for you to have a clue how these things work. Gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. Why not? You play cool, yeah, be stern. No. Let's just play cool for now. Cool? Why? There's no point in antagonizing her. Right. She tries to keep me from doing this dive one more time. That's it. Gloves off. That's fair. Just don't force her hand. All right. Not here to make I'm enemies. Rebreather set up, and then we'll go through the final steps together. Cool. Just holler at us when you're ready. So interesting. Her license is expired. I didn't realize that. I'm almost done with these. There's a little gap in the tail. Take a look. Okay. I don't see the gap you're talking about. We have a lot of pictures of this thing. Still not seeing it. That's all of them. I don't get what he's referring to. So, how do I trigger the next event? What's this? Oh, binoculars? Hey guys, tanks are ready. Tanks a lot. Okay. I don't see anything to look at here. Alright, boom down. So, we're good? Good to go. Okay, so this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression cool. time on your way up. State of the art. Okay, O2 check done. Whoa, 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 Eager Beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Yeah, be appreciative. Great. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Oh, we have a knife. Good. Probably gonna need it. I don't know what these things are. What's that, like a shock that prod that or something? Yeah, I heard that about you. All right, kids. Uh -huh. Good to go. You ever have to use one? On a shark? Just remember nope. the rules, please! We take everything? You're on camera. I'll take the wheels. Let's get a before photo. Jeez. <laughs> she hiding stuff in the captain? Because it's very sketchy that her license is expired, assuming it really is. We're actually going down. Whoa, you good? More or less. She been flissing so tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, oh, we're going after the plane. Would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you. Uh. <laughs> Not like they can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That chief. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. Damn. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. 
Let's swim around Whatever you say. Find a way in. Well, time is passing, I guess. <clears throat> Damn my throat. Howdy, Captain. Six fifteen. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh and eager cabin boy. Still a no. Your well paying, <laughs> dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Yeah, go, go ahead. He seems like a sure. decent enough person. Why not? Cheers. Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cat? Oh, yes, it is. <sighs> it's a long story. It's complicated and it's really difficult to explain. Well, I'm a complicated guy. Try me. Well, it involves at least several trips to the bank and signing of big stacks of paper with large numbers on them. So you took out a loan. You know, you're smarter than you look. If you're interested, oh, maybe my family can make an investment in your business. Do we want to? Appreciative. That's very kind of you to offer. I suppose we could have that conversation. What's going on? Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. Who's that beep? Or two? Weather looks clear. Hmm. I have to keep an eye on those clouds. Yeah, it looks like the storms are coming in or something. Uh oh, it's getting mighty crowded out here. Someone else is out here. Don't like that. Can I look at my own license. It expired 1231, but it doesn't say what year, though. Okay, she's hiding it. She is hiding something. Any point coming down here? Wait, what was that? What was that? Ace to check. Ooh, she's she's behind on her loan. She's ignoring the request for payment. Ooh, they're gonna seize the bow if I don't pay up. Ooh, not good to be behind on loan payments. I no doubt they charge interest at some point. Is this a restroom? There a picture? Whoa. Why do I keep these around? Okay, so something about a guy holding a gun, but I don't know how that helps me. Okay, we're gonna look at this stuff as well? Sure. Okay, perfume again. Book next? Yep. Great. What did that accomplish? I check it on Alex? How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. Oh, it's Brad, not Alex. Hey, yeah, be sympathetic. Don't go easy. Go easy on him. You're allowed to overdo it. I am officially starting a temperance club. Party of one. Lifetime membership. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. No, don't probe. Be concerned. They're doing down there. Attitude matters. Twenty meters down. Alex plays the goof, but he was pretty serious about acing his diving certification. Right, Alex is the other brother. 
No, be surprised. I want to be curious. When I got the booking, I thought they were newbies. Alex and Julia have both logged plenty of dives. I'm the real amateur. But I'm ready. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. I didn't realize she has such a thick accent. Alright, so... Do I talk to this guy again? I hey, forgot his name. How's it hanging? Conrad. Why can't I remember that? Relaxed. You look like you're taking cool. full advantage of your relaxation time. I'm a man of many talents. Hmm. Playful? It's too bad charm is not among them. Ah, but my charm is like a boomerang. I didn't mean to say that. You think it's gone right over your head until smack. You're out cold. That makes no sense. No, no, no. Be romantic. I have to keep track of the dive, but I'd be happy to continue this conversation later when I can give you my full attention. In private? Private. Just just chatting it up, you and I, in the old conversational intercourse. <laughs> what? I did not say anything about intercourse, man. I, I want to be nice to everybody if I can, not be apprehensive, you know? Duke to Alex. Duke to Julia? Radio silence, not a good sign. Oh, who the hell are these people? What's that about? No idea. No, no, be uneasy. Be, be on your toes. Guard. So we're not under arrest. How should we handle this? Uh, we are not doing anything. I'm the captain, so you be quiet and let oh, me I, handle it. I should have pick that. Picked that. I should not pick that. Should I be afraid of these people? Ooh. Guys, yeah, be worried. Keep back. We've got divers in the water. Okay, bye. Hey, we got damage here, you see this? Look at our boat! We can take care of this, man. It's not a problem. What do you think? Like, uh, ten bucks cover it? No, it won't. <laughs> Whoops, my bad. Let's make it twenty. Dude, you're being rude, Conrad. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like thirty? I can do thirty. Alright, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. What are you doing? You're throwing money down the toilet, essentially. So, these two have been down here quite a while, right? At least I think they have. Is that our hand or a corpse hand? No, nope, that's a corpse. <laughs> Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, really? Really. The rear turret. Huh. Still didn't see it. The turret. We can get in through there. Is it safe? the wrong button. I wasn't ready for that. Could be dangerous. I was not expecting there to be a QTE uh, there. First. Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? It's a dream come true. Go back. True. What's that? Their photo? Okay, so she has like the heart attack like the guy had had in the prologue. Wherever that thing was, I'm not sure what it was, but it was clutching his chest. A hole. Oh, there's a piece of paper in there? Leave it. 
You'd have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your right. breather? Yeah, be concerned. It is kind of dangerous. We are not going after a whatever that was. Probably money, right? Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of okay. the boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see oh. what else we can find. Yeah, they probably called for rescue and just didn't come. Or the rescuers died as well. Who knows? Good God. Ooh, corpse. Oh, do I have to touch it now? No, I don't want to touch the corpse. Can I back out? Should disturb the dead. Who knows? Maybe that'll save my wife or something by not touching it. Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. I remember from the bear trap in the until dawn, you shouldn't always touch everything. There's another corpse. Now please don't come to life. Oh, you son of a bitch. I think Stupid eel. My wetsuit. When life gives you lemons. Ew. Please don't touch anything, guys. Pilot and co-pilot. Gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. Don't touch it. Okay, can we back out now, please? Ah, oh, shit, what did I just press? This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back out! Back out! Don't touch anything! Please! We just go now? Can we or can we not? I have no idea if it'll trigger something. Oh, what's this? A bullet. Bullet holes. All down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Don't keep it. Shit. Well, I don't know, guys. I think I have to go back. Or he's just chilling there. Can I talk to him? No, not that. Okay, I cannot talk to him, so I have to do something in the cockpit, right? But what? Do I really have to touch the, this thing? <sighs> so be it. Not that, R2. Just please tell me I had to do that. We go now? Why is he not following me? What do I have to else do I have to do here? <sighs> Fine, look at the corpse. That's what you want me to do, game. Been around and see that the skeleton, right? Ugh. Yep. Ugh. He's holding something. Oh jeez. Happen here. Little look at things. They knew they were goners. What makes you say that? Well, why is he still staying there? What else do I have to do? Okay, this is kind of confusing me, guys. I don't want to touch too much stuff. So, why is he not following me? Oh, there we go. That's not good. Get out of here now. Yeah, I agree. 
Don't! Oh, oh God, Alex! It's a gray reef shark. Not interested in us. Let's go. Better not be. Hold <laughs> Okay. I thought this was the right time, but then. Oh, don't didn't propose. Know the right time, but I guess no time's the right time. I, I, I don't. I guess. Dude, not now. Oh. I know you can't tell because we're underwater, but I'm on my knees right now. Uh huh. Julia, <laughs> will you marry me? I have to choose. I. I. Oh crap. Alex, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I mean, I, I just... I mean, we almost just died. Julia, I'm serious. Yeah, be loving. Be loving. He's just like a nice dude. What a goddamn story. How's it end? Please don't drop the ring. Yes, yes I'll marry the shit out of you. <laughs> Come on, something bad's gonna happen. Can we please get out of here? This is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Hey, where that other boat come from? Wait. Julia. We gotta decompress here. Whoa, what the hell? Yeah. What the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait. We have to decompress. No, don't put, put yourselves okay. before your others. Press, right. Oh my god, this is taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. Okay, now. Go, go! Cool. What the hell is going on? Hey, what the hell is going on? What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. Sure about that? Oh, nothing. Your brother just she wants the money. Himself to blow up my grill. Conrad, oh. what is wrong with you? Yeah, what's up with the air boat? What's up with that other boat? These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is What'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane, and it is huge, full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys, can you all just shut up for like one second? <laughs> Holy shit! Dude, bro, congrats! Nicely done. Come up and let's celebrate. So how do we get on board the ship then? Where does the ship come into play? I'm very curious. Oh, back with the parishioner? That was his name was the prisoner. You're getting to know the intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life, and he the love of hers. What about Conrad? A bold fellow, you might say. Or maybe eh. you'd say arrogant. And yeah, the latter. Captain Fliss, strong, forthright, stubborn. Do I detect a spark between her and Conrad? I don't think so. Let me reassure you. You help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. I don't believe you. <laughs> Definitely do not believe you. Just because everyone's still alive means I don't believe you. Hey guys, I think we should stop here. We're about to approach 30 minutes, so that's a good time to stop if I ever saw one. Nope. Alright, I hope the scares get amped up a bit, even though I don't like scary shit. But you guys know that that's the whole point of playing these types of games, right? So yeah, like with the first one, it's off to a slow start, but hopefully it'll get a little better. I'm playing roughly an hour, and I heard, like I said in my first video, this game takes about five hours, give or take, according to estimates, so yeah.
we'll keep it going next time. But see you then. Take care.